everybody, JCB here at The Awesomeness, and you're watching an Awesomeness Quickie. Today we're talking about the game Alien Swarm. Alien Swarm is a four-player co-op game in which you fight a swarm of aliens. What else were you expecting? Recently I was watching a video by Valve News Network, a channel I highly recommend if you're into Valve news, in which Tyler mentioned Alien Swarm in passing as a title Valve sort of abandoned shortly after it launched in 2010. I remember Alien Swarm being pretty neat, but I never really got into it due to the fact that it's a top-down, bird's-eye view shooter, and I've never really been into those types of games, mainly because I'm terrible at those types of games. My brain just never gets used to the controls, so I started wondering if anyone had modded the game to allow you to play in first person. After all, all of the assets are already there, it's just a different camera angle. As it turns out, there was a mod of Alien Swarm in the works, two to be exact. I found one online that was officially dead, and another that had been greenlit on Steam but also seemed, for all intents and purposes, dead. After a little googling, I found that you can use console commands to play first person and it works just fine, but there are some issues with it. The main complaint is that in first person mode, your mouse cursor is locked to the crosshair, which is fine when you're in the main part of the game, but breaks the tech guy's ability to unlock doors. This means every time you want to hack something, you have to go back to third person view, but it's slightly more complicated than that. There are basically three commands you have to type every time you want to change perspective. The first is first person or third person, respectively. The second is ASW underscore hide underscore marine, and the third is ASW underscore controls. Setting hide marine to one hides your character's model so that it doesn't block your view. Setting controls to zero changes the control scheme to that of a first person shooter, which means every time you want to unlock a door or hack something, you have to type those commands, changing the ones and zeros respectively, and I can see that getting pretty annoying, especially if you're trying to type all of that in the heat of battle, which explains the creation of those mods I mentioned. But is a mod really necessary? Basically, all you really need to do is bind some keys to a set of commands. So that's what I did, and it works really well. If you want to play Alien Swarm in first person, copy the two lines of code in the description below. Once you have that copied, start an Alien Swarm server with SV underscore cheats enabled, or just do an offline practice session to try it out. Then enter the console and paste in these two commands. The first is bind5, quote, first person, semicolon, ASW underscore hide underscore marine1, semicolon. ASW underscore controls zero end quote. This will cause the number five in your keyboard to toggle first person view, but we need a way to switch back to third person view, so the second command is bind six quote third person semicolon ASW underscore hide underscore marine zero semicolon ASW underscore controls one end quote, which will make the number six on your keyboard toggle it back to third person view and all the controls will switch back and forth as well. I originally wanted to use the bind toggle command, but apparently that only toggles different values of a given command and can't be made to toggle between two different commands such as first person and third person. Then again, maybe there is a way and I just don't know about it. Leave a comment down below if you know a way to make this a single key toggle as that'd be very helpful. As you can see though, the game works really well this way and is a lot of fun to play. The models and textures all still look fantastic, and for me the gameplay is much more enjoyable. Granted, there is no skybox, which means we just get this white haze of a sky, which would be one thing a fully fledged mod could fix. Another thing a mod could address would be the aiming. The crosshair remains center screen, but your bullets actually go where the laser sight is pointing. So long as you ignore the crosshairs, you'll be fine. I searched and searched online for some kind of console command for changing or even disabling the crosshairs, but I couldn't find one. CSGO will let you fully customize your crosshairs, but not Alien Swarm. I think if Valve programmed this sort of switching into an update for the game, they could really create some new and interesting maps. For instance, imagine a map where you eventually go indoors, and suddenly there's a ceiling overhead, and your bird's eye view is just a roof of the building. You'd be unable to see what was going on inside unless you switched to first person view. Now there could be aliens around every corner you'd basically be blind in a swarm infested maze. Or imagine maps where half the team stays on the surface using the top down view and the other half of the team has to go underground in first person mode. Then both teams would have to simultaneously activate some kind of switch so you'd be separated and basically enjoying two different experiences while working towards the same goal. Then you could have things like the guys underground setting off explosions that cause a tower on top to collapse on top of an alien spawn point where the guys up top could toss bombs down a hole to provide cover or clear a path for the guys underground. There's all kinds of things that could be done. I think if Valve updated the game to include this mechanic in a few levels, plus give the community some tools for creating maps in Alien Swarm, it can make a real comeback. Anyway, that's it for my first quickie. Let me know if you find Alien Swarm more entertaining this way in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for more cool videos like this, and until next time, keep being awesome.